Now, I am so excited that I would tweet all day about this just because I'm so excited to have in our studio, Emmy Stanley. Thank you. Now, Emmy and I have known each other for a while now, more than we probably care to think about now, but <laughs> we started together doing the, um, the, the, the drag shows way back in uh, toolbox days which was like probably four years ago something like mm -hmm. that but it seems that was a, that was a great wonderful time right. and she was the first person that came and took any kind of pictures of my shows or anything you made us all look glamorous and fabulous it was so much fun and you helped me exercise my skills there you go exactly i provided the the entertainment for you to hone your craft on yeah you believed in me I, well, Thank you. Totally. As a matter of fact, I was going through the old toolbox photos the other day and I saw the poster we did for your birthday. Oh, that was that lovely. That party. was yeah. so nice. That made me feel really good. What would, you yes, good. What, what would you say Dan's good side is? Believing in people. Oh, there you no, I meant like from like a oh, profile. profile. <laughs> Jeez, we all have good sides and right. bad sides, don't we? I have all good sides, I think. I reckon he looks better from the back. Oh, Lord. Oh, thanks, Andrew. You'd look better from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Yes. So, uh, has photography always been something you've been interested in? Is it something that you've been obsessed mm -hmm. with your whole life? or? Um, since I was young, because yeah. I um, lived partly, well, born in Ireland and summers back in Ireland, mm -hmm. and then grew up in Sonoma County. Wow. And uh, I think it's just that I started photographing my family because they had a family farm, just out of knowing that it wouldn't exist forever. Right. No, it's true. Sort of obsessively collecting details. Mm hmm. So that's something that has always that. Well, yeah, that's, since I was a teenager. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And so, how long? And how long have you lived in San Francisco? Um, on and off all my life. My mm -hmm. mom was born here in the marina, Italian. Wow. Croatian. I forgot that part. <laughs> uh, back in the day, it was Yugoslavian. Right, right. And I think before that, they lived in Slovenian Hill and Petro Hill. Okay. It was called Slovenian. So who knows what they are Slavic? Yes. Uh, anyway, I'm my checked. mom's from, yeah, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. So my mom's from the city, and my dad's from uh, Ireland and London. Wow, that's an interesting mix. Yeah, my mom went to Europe to find her beetle. Oh. She was a groupie as well. Which beetle was she for, uh, the follower of? Do you know? I don't know. Probably John Lennon. You think John? Yeah. Oh, uh, I would always probably, I would probably have been a George follower. George? Yeah, he was trippy. Yeah. Smart. Goofy. Well, they were all too smart. Too goofy, too But actually, Paul McCartney was the cutest. Yeah, he's cute. I mean, he couldn't help that. Or Ringo. He had his thing going, too. Yeah. So she went to England to find her beetle. She did. And yes. what did she find? She found my dad in a bar uh -huh. in Cambridge. That's cool. <laughs> Apparently, she had a mini skirt and long brown hair. Oh, she was gosh. Very exotic. Time machine. I know. She yeah. was very glamorous and very uh, mod and rocker. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of a love child from them. They were kind of hot and heavy. Now they're not, you know, Italian, Irish. Well, yeah. That was a crazy supernova. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's sexy for a while. Always. <laughs> Sounds very sexy. No, you grew up some in Ireland, you said? Some, yeah. Wow. So growing up in Sonoma and in Ireland, I mean, those are both very beautiful, very photogenic type places. I would see why you'd be inspired. Mm -hmm. In Sonoma County, I, was kind of, I grew up on a vineyard. Oh, wow. Um, and I did photograph for a minute... Uh, Oh, the guys who worked the vineyard I grew up on they, forever, you know. Mm -hmm. I went back and visited them. I would like to continue that a little bit, but... Uh, I bet. It's such a beautiful area of the country. Dan's photograph. Yeah. Dan likes it to is. photograph men, too, but he gets in trouble for it. Oh, well, no, you no, have no. lots of collections. Well, yeah, as long as I pass it over from porn. Adam for Don't Adam, like it's porn. all fine. Well, no, I actually sell porn. Oh, I actually sell, sell vintage porn vintage on the porn. internet. Vintage porn, that's yeah. cool. I had, to, so. I had to delete him as a Facebook friend. I know. Because I, oh, I have yeah. parents. Too dirty? Yeah. Yeah, just, a little too Wow. Race. Yeah, Can't my dad myself. defriended me too. No. <laughs> for these pictures. Yeah, it's a little something. I mean, they some people just can't take it. He yeah. walk, you walk into his house, he's got a cock for a screensaver. That's awesome. He's a naked man, but there is a cock oh, attached yeah, to him. Lovely. Just I know. Big cock. Mm -hmm. But that's all you see, but it's actually a Dick Fisk, who's actually a very famous I love 19th. That see, there you go. Yeah. Philippe weighs in with his vote. Popular around these parts. Well, you probably like the ones I have now. I've been selling a bunch of straight pulps, and they're all. What's pulp? Pulp are small books about this big, like a little baby, uh, like a, a little paperback, uh -huh. and they were very popular in the 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way up to today. And they're just really filthy, mm. and they have these very provocative names and nasty drawings on them. Oh, nice! And they're extremely collectible, and that's how yeah. I've been making my money the last few weeks. Nice, love it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you know, whatever does it for you. So, what drew you to come to Toolbox? I think I remember. What was it? Well, I, I think, think it was your attraction to Pippi. Pippi. No, I met Pippi at, at Toolbox. Because I remember yeah, you telling me you I'm came for Pippi. I'm attracted to Pippi Lovestocking. She's my fave. Mm -hmm. um, ah, she looks like Elizabeth Taylor to me. 
I know. Well, you know, she's hosting uh, our Pride show a oh, week from Sunday. Oh, that's nice. At the oh, Cinch. lovely. So oh, I'll come to that. I love yeah. the Cinch. Me too. Wow. That reminds me of old San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the oldest gay bar. It's your, really? somewhere I didn't their 40th know that. anniversary. The Cinch. Wow. Right. Yeah, you can feel it. It's really a nice vibe in there. Right, exactly. Yeah. I think the only one older is the, um, is the one over here. Um, what's it called? The Gangway. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. And there's a little small. It's just mm -hmm. not, it's kind of like a little dive, which, you know. No diss against it. It's a great dive. Toolbox right? was at a fun dive. That was a legendary dive. You know, that was a place I always had dreams in my oh, mind. Yeah. I dreamed of like, you would walk in and there'd be like a, a mini show going off when you first walked in. You'd go through, people would be nice to you at the bar. Yeah. Uh, then you would go through like an art exhibit and then you would go back to the stage where the show was. That yeah. never happened. But we no, tried. But no. it was a fun place. At Club 93? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man, you got big dreams. I did. I love that place. <laughs> oh, it was heaven for me. It had, I loved yeah. it when the street met the bar, but they couldn't come in somehow some someone used to kick them out or something well sometimes sometimes they came into the performer i mean i remember yeah I remember, there was always that too i remember <laughs> i remember natasha muse uh, uh bringing the, the crackhead inside and, and putting him into her into her, her whole act the real at the pretty end. What? lady I, oh remember her yeah, what was that i got a picture of her that was yeah. isis isis showed up one time isis had like she was all white and except she had those black eyes with the, with yeah. the makeup dripping she down. She was cool. She was Very all messed bow. up on drugs and they brought, and so she was all tripping hard and she just kind of scooted into the club and was watching it. Well, and she so she really, you know, she was an audience member. Really. Well, that, well, she had, didn't she, didn't she have a swastika tattooed on oh, her Oh, lovely. Head? Yeah. I got a picture of Alaska Thunder. Fuck. Yeah. With fuck. A, you can say um, fuck. Okay, cool. You're cool. Uh, with a swastika at a Peaches event. It's very controversial. Uh, but I'd like to bring up about photography and about things that the swastika i mean it's not a drag queen right you know like the body changes things too it's something right. to think about that's true and you know also documentary photography is in the moment it is what it, it certainly is. is you know no. there's that too with the advent of all the reality tv and, and the popularity of documentaries again yeah yeah it is what so. it is yeah but anyway it's an interesting picture Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a totally interesting picture. Can they go online and check it out? Yes, yep. on Emmy uh, Photo, EMI, and then P-H-O-T-O. Emmy Photo, is that .com? That's a page on uh, Facebook. On and Facebook. And Emmy you can see Stanley. a drag queen with a swastika on her forehead. You can. I'll put it up tonight. Did she steal that from Manson? Well, there were some Manson girls on stage, and I think she got inspired to take her eye stick out and do it in the audience. Oh, yeah. It's like an inspiration like, thing. But it's like going to the it game. Was, and... It was too much. <laughs> It was too much, but also it is what it is, and it, you know. Well, you know, it's a it's it's art of drag the drag is controversial. It can be. Do you know something? Offense is never given; it's taken. Wow, I oh. say so too. It is. I agree. A curse is never received unless it's received. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And if you look at it with those eyes, and that's what registers in your mind. That's that's your reaction. That's not necessarily all the reactions. Yeah, that's true. Who are your favorite photographers? Oh boy, well, Deanna Arbus. Oh, okay. um, Robert Frank. These are really like uh, Gary Wienergrand. Do you like Triple Mike? To know who he is. Yeah, I thought so. Eh, should I? <laughs> you will. <laughs> One day. He's our cinematographer. He's, He's our cinematographer. Oh, lovely. But he has a great Thank eye you. as well. He has a great eye. Yeah. yeah. And you have a great eye. I mean, that's one of the things you. I always love. I always love looking at your, photo uh, your photographs because they're Thank always so you. interesting. Now, after Toolbox, you went ahead and you've done other things with like. Um, 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 Tranny Shack, right? Yes, I d I've been doing Tranny Shack for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and Peaches Christ events sometimes. Awesome. Now, is there any, do you have any plans or dreams of either putting up a big show or um, I'd like to make a book. a book. Yeah. And uh, I, I, it's called The Drags of the Night. Oh, yeah. Because it's the night that pulls me out. That's me what too. I'm interested yeah, in. Yeah, I'm a night person. Yeah. And I'm also interested in the odd individual that sort of makes it into the night. Well, if you're into Diane Arbus, I mean, that definitely, yes. you know, about her and her uh, obsession with like the carnival performers and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, yeah, I agree. I agree with you completely. And uh, what's her name with the punched eye? God, I can't remember now. Mm. Do you know she started kind of the um, snapshot aesthetic? Yeah, nothing I can't worse think of her than when you can't either. remember your favorite artist. It'll come to you. You'll be uh, uh, sound asleep Who at two it? in the morning. Anybody ah, know? Jesus! Anybody throw it out there? All well, right. you can tweet it to us at hashtag uh, UGG if you know who uh, Mimi is talking about. Ah. I'm drawing a blank as well. But uh, but yeah, that's that's great. Now. Um, you know, are there any uh, particular shows that you're interested in going and shooting now? Or anything going on now that you're really well, into? Well, I'd like or to performers? pull it together. Mm -hmm. Because I'm feeling like a photo whore. 
Mm, and that's not what I like. We seen. Now it's starting to get like come, you know. And I love everyone, but I gotta pull it together and look at just pictures. Yeah. I don't even want to snap a camera at the moment. No? to be honest with you. Well, that's good. No, I mean we all it's go. It's drained with the, out of me for it, a moment. Well, I mean the output that you've done. I mean you should just definitely take a, those few years when you're doing the drag shows and and keep editing it down until you get to those essential ones. Yeah. But one of my favorites, of course, is the one you took of Carl with Records right before yeah. the show at Pride at the Cinch. Yeah. And is his, he has that big headdress on. Yeah. And there's that light over him, and he's just kind of looking sad for a second. Yeah. <laughs> he's cruising that, for a bruising. Ah, well, maybe so, and he ain't Carl. nothing. Well, you know, I love Carl because he, to this day... Have you had him on here? No, we're going to. Oh, great. To this day, he still tags me when he has dreams. And that was I'm in lots of his dreams because he has these dreams, and he gets up and he paints them and makes a portrait. And and then he puts them on Facebook and tags you if you're in his dream. Ah, oh, they're amazing. Yeah, As Carl with character. records. And yeah, he's always a painter and a performer. Yes. Uh, and a coquette. Yeah, I was going to say Sister of the Night or Sister of the Light. Ah. Oh, he was an angel of angel light. light. Angel of the Light. Angel of the Light, yeah. yeah. Which is, came right after the Cockettes, right? He's I a, think before. Right before? Oh, maybe, yeah. He's right in there, but Carl with God records. God bless me, forgive me. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Carl. Well, you know, <laughs> Carl and you can explain all. Yes. And I'll be sure and give you 10 minutes time. That's and hopefully you have, like, for. more of the Cockettes on, too. They're lovely. Oh, yes. Well, you know, yes. we we did go backstage and do uh, uh, for the Tittle Tarts. Oh, that's great. I saw that. It was that. fun. Yeah. I posted that on any photo. I thought that was a lovely interview. Thank you. I did, too. Yeah. It was wonderful. We really and enjoyed it. And Bryant was just I, performing with a awesome. um, roomy Cockette at the Mills College. How'd that go? Oh, great. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. He's one of Rumi's little bitches now. Oh, well, it's a good, it's a good club to be in. So, you know. The was, best. Yeah. So, yeah, that'd be awesome to uh, to, to uh, have you uh, uh, get those things together and put a book together. That would yeah, be I want to do a little chronicle thing. Yeah. Like, um, and kind of bathroom read. Look. Awesome. And an actual Look. real book, not just like a, a, a no, just, e-book. or just pictures. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Can I okay. ask a question? Yeah. Do you think it's possible with the right lighting and the right aperture to make a penis look artistic. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and even without. No, I, I, I've never seen a penis look beautiful and they do it in black and white with shadow and stuff. And it's like it just Maybe you just don't like penises or think they're beautiful. Damn. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Well, then That's I true. don't know why you can't see the beauty. I can't. Maybe see you the should beauty. look up some Georgia O'Keefe. I believe yeah. genitals are dirty and wrong and people. You know, Georgia O'Keefe didn't really appreciate that whole sexualizing of her. I know she didn't. I read yeah. about that. She was kind of resentful about it. Well, she was kind of like, <laughs> and I'm like well, that's honey, up to you. I know, but... That's I mean, not what's you know, going on. I, really, that's funny. Well, that's <laughs> like when they asked, I forget who they asked one time, there was like some uh, 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 famous author who had written this big book about a bear and somebody got up and had started talking about all the different things this meant and symbolized. And afterwards, the kid asked him a question. The guy goes, well, sometimes... A bear is just a bear. Yeah. I'm glad you got that out of it. He stole that from Freud, that. man. <laughs> is that it? Oh, yeah. Freud said a cigar was a cigar because he said that uh, cigars maybe are it was, a maybe, maybe it was Freud. I don't know. Freud. A bear is just a bear. Mercy. You know that Freud, uh, he used to... Uh, you like him? He was one of... If I could be anyone, I'd be Freud because what he did was take sexually repressed housewives who had been suffering from hysteria, gave them all coke and asked them to explain their sexual desires. And you know where it goes oh, from there. That's not like Tuesday night at, 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 at a hustle bar. I know, He's exactly. He's a pervert, which he is was cool. The best. It's cool. Well, exactly. I mean, he, but was, I, he, I was, he, was, he was an original pervert. Yeah. Yeah, but he wasn't really like an equal opportunity pervert. He was no, he was pervert. not. He was pretty. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah much he was just like, thing. I want to see your shit, but I'm not going to show mine. Exactly. Well, you Vampire. know. Vampire. Exactly. Yeah. Can I introduce my friend Nara? Oh yes, yes, yes. Let's bring her on. You have a you have a friend who's on our show, is that correct? Yes, Nara is a, a filmmaker here in San Francisco. Silent well, I am just for a going to step away. No, no, and come here. No, come, come here. here. I'm come small. I know. Oh no, you come here. I'll stand behind Nara. I'm tall. She's small. Okay. Okay. Sit, 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 sit there. So have a seat. A well, Nara's a great uh, filmmaker and. Um, I'm just here, I'm just here. Well, somebody has for to sit a down. I'm just sit there. Sit, sit down. Sit, sit down. Sit in the middle. Sit there. Yeah, sit all the way on it. You sit are. Yeah. All, right, all right, all right. There we go. I'm yeah. just here. There you go. And, and she's just, having um, a photo I'm show. I'm piggybacking oh. the plug. Of hey, the well, show we love it. We love you to plug. Um, I have um, oh a my series God. of um, turn of the century boudoir Fox nudes, and there's 45 of them. Isn't they gorgeous? And you know, I'd like to say something. It's a breakthrough in the male nude. To well, me, it's I a thought, female nude too. What? Only they're all foxes. Well, no, but this particular one is unusual see, to me. See, Philippe, can we see that in the? You know, nudes. Probably not. Nudes throughout so history. This is a good one. Yeah, this is. Is it yeah, showing? Yeah, differently, really. These are great. 
Yeah. And there's a, a lot of lo like so uh, Anna, throw peddler Anna is in one of these. Oh, you got to see this one. Club YouTube now. <laughs> hey. No, but these are art. I mean, <gasps> shut up. Oh, Dude, I'm not supposed Jesus to tell. Christ. Jeez. Oh, sorry. We didn't hear it. Terrible. Okay, anywho. It's only uh, recorded for life. It's playing. Okay, so um, it's, it's this Sunday. Sunday. <coughs> the entire series is okay, being. Okay, so um, one more time. Give us your name. Uh, my name is Nora Danny. <laughs> okay, and, and you have a show coming up, what, this Sunday? Yes, at, um, it's called Fox Hunt. Okay. Over at Gypsy Honeymoon, uh, 1266 Valencia on 25th Street. Valencia and 25th. Uh-huh. So it's going on. 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Awesome, 4 to 8 p.m. And it's free? It's free, and so there's people, booze and free um, there performance and stuff like that. 45 beautiful images. Well, the pictures are fantastic. Yeah, Thank you for coming on. Yeah. yeah, do you have a Facebook or Twitter account? Um, uh, yeah, Nora Denning um, Film. Nora Denning Film? You, you have a film that goes with it? Um, yes. And it's going to show with this too? Yeah, it's all promoting the film because I'm raising money for it. Great. Yeah. Well, well, we wish you best of luck. Well, we're so glad you came on. Great, And she won Best Silent Filmmaker. Wow. Sometime a few years ago. Well, that's great. And I, I was in there. I was, I acted and well, yeah, I was a gypsy. Were you good? Are you good at the mime? Can you express things Absolutely. without speaking? Absolutely. <laughs> express, express something right now. Do you want me to? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said it all. That's yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Mm. That's pretty you much. Teach that to your wife. <laughs> we're gonna put hey. that. We're gonna put that on. Is she a, Italian? It should come natural. That's our vine. <laughs> that's our vine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Guest appearances. Okay, so anyway, um, you know, it was great to see you at Meow Mix. Thank I hope you. to see you more out on, on, on the show. And, uh, and please come to Show Off, Drag Bus. Oh, come out to the center. I want to come to the new Show Off, yeah, the totally. new location. Okay, we want you. Yes. It'll be awesome. Thank you okay, so much. Well, Thank you very again, much. Okay, and if anybody wants to get hold of you, say they yeah. want to, get, you know, do, do, do you hire out or are you just doing it as an artist? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of prefer to do things that appeal to me. I don't right, really, I'm, okay. you know, I don't. Well, then if somebody just wants to say hey to you, what's, what's, what's the best way to get in touch with oh, you? Oh, an Emmy photo. You can always send me a message. Okay, and, so that's Emmy um, photo on Facebook. Yeah, it's a page about photography. Awesome. And I love just talking about photographs, you know, sure. engaging if it appeals to you. I love it. Facebook's meant a lot She's to me. She's an amazing way. woman. Get Thank in contact you. with her. Talk with her. You'll, you'll just be glad you did. So, Thank okay. you very much. Thanks I for think at this me. point, Thank we're you. just going to go to a song. Yay. And what will I choose? Annie Lennox? You know what's Manny Lennox? Remember well, David used to call me Tranny Lennox. That Tranny was lovely. Tranny Lennox, yes. He was supposed to be here today, but he couldn't uh, make it. So let's Tranny see. Lennox. Yeah, it was working for a minute. And then I, you know, it's not. <laughs> well, you know, that's all you can do. Is just I thought there might it. actually be a, a drag queen in San Fran who was called Tranny Lennox. There should be. Maybe there has been. Mama? Sure. Mama? No? Okay, we'll do this one right here. So here oh. is Annie Lennox yeah, sure. with Walking a Broken Glass. Is that yeah. Okay, we'll just oh, I, like I forgot to mention the Folk Queen pageant. What, what about the Folk Queen? Oh, queen. it's coming up. I am doing that. I'm doing, and also, uh, sorry. No, but good. Also, I, I should mention these things for um, Heck Lena and Tranny Shack. Sure, let us know what's going on. Tranny Shack, God bless you. Everyone, I love you. Yes. But anyway, um, Tranny Shack, it's the Janet Jackson and Michael, I think. Oh. Um, and that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, and then, that, can um, get, that can get nasty by the end. That gets, it's, it's viciousness. Oh. Um, and then um, it's a Folk Queen pageant. Um, I forget where it is, but it's somewhere in the Folsom area, and it's coming up in September. Oh, is that the one Fudgy Frittage does? Um, no, I think Fudgy does the Folk King. Folk King? Oh, sorry. Folk um, King. Yeah. Wrong foe, sorry. Yeah, My foe call. <laughs> And we have a <laughs> lot of lovely folk queens in this city, and there's going to be a lovely competition. Yes, I, I always love Phonique. Oh, she's great. She's so great, wow. so nice, but so wow. super brilliant, talented. She did Madonna once at Trinity Shack. It was uh, crazy. It was she, Madonna. She did this thing at Charlie Horse one time, I still remember, where it was all uh. these people had these faces, and it went all the way down. It was just crazy. Yeah, but, yeah. She, she's an artiste. We love the Phonique. So yes. anyway, here is Annie Thank Lennox you. with Walking on Broken Glass. We'll Thank be you, right bitches. back in a minute. Mama Dora is going to send us off with Yay. a song.